Hello students, welcome to the lecture on information technology in the supply chain and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Understand the types of IT used in SCM, define the IT framework, understand customer relationship management CRM, discuss the internal supply chain management, explain the supplier relationship management SRM, understand the transaction management. Let's start with a brief introduction. Today, companies are often not considered independent entities but part of multi-company, multi-echallent networks that is supply chains delivering goods and services to the final customer. Supply Chain Management SCM literature proposes that integrated control of these multi-company networks can provide significant benefits. The utilization of information technology IT in turn is considered an imperative requirement for managing these networks and has been associated with significant supply chain efficiency improvements. Although the importance of IT for efficient SCM is widely acknowledged, empirical research assessing how IT is in practice used for the purposes of SCM is narrow. Modern global integrated supply chains couldn't be global or integrated without a modern technological infrastructure to act as both the supply chain's connective tissue and nervous system. And while modern supply chain executives are expected to have a grasp of modern business technology, the thought of actually making technology related decisions can be scary for even the most senior executives. So what should supply chain managers expect their systems, software and hardware to do for their supply chain? Let's try and relate it to something you may have done before, buying a computer. Beyond entertainment, what are the reasons people buy computers? To communicate with people, purchase things, meet new people, search for information, analyze data, and to organize their lives. Computers have become the tools we use in the present to connect us to things in our past and to help guide us to a more promising future. Supply chains need to accomplish the same things except we refer to them as research and analysis, planning and scheduling, purchasing, networking, and relationship management. So, similar to the decision-making process we would all go through when buying a new laptop computer, companies need to consider a number of issues when making IT decisions. Memory, storage, computing speed, applications, hardware, mobility, and the operating system. These are the key components of the organization's central nervous system. We want a fast, powerful system that will help us connect with our most trusted allies and customers, protect us from potential enemies, and it must also be built for flexibility, ready for whatever our business may need in the years to come. Presently, companies achieve these capabilities from an alphabet soup list of systems and applications that include ERP, CRM, SRM. And while these things may change over time, one thing that will not change is the supply chain's dependence on technology. Managing resources, operations, logistics, and customers requires immediate access to data and information that only technology can provide. Supply chains need to meet the challenges of the present and future. Sustainability, consumer safety, supply chain security, and legal and ethical behaviors, these are all expected and in some cases demanded by consumers and governments worldwide. These are things that can only be effectively managed, monitored, and realized with the support of modern technology. Even at the lowest level, individual supply chain managers are tasked with measuring performance, improving supply chain visibility, and managing relationships, all of which are very much dependent on available technologies. Supply chain managers don't necessarily need to be computer geeks but they do need to develop an excellent working relationship with the folks in IT because a supply chain without a healthy nervous system can't be integrated, global, or even responsive. Make sure your supply chain has the tools that will give it the lightning fast reflexes required to be a world-class global competitor. Let us now understand the types of IT used in SCM. The first construct types of IT used in SCM refers to the ways in which companies employ IT for the purposes of SCM. 
Three different types of IT used in SEM are transaction processing, supply chain planning and collaboration, and order tracking and delivery coordination were identified and chosen to represent the first construct. We will study them now one by one. The first type of IT use transaction processing standard for the use of IT for increasing the efficiency of repetitive information exchanges between supply chain partners. The second type of IT use supply chain planning and collaboration represent the use of IT for sharing planning related information such as demand forecast and other demand information, inventory information and production capacity information with the intention of increasing the effectiveness of the supply chain. Finally, the third type of IT used in SCM or the tracking and delivery coordination refers to the monitoring of individual orders or shipments which may consist drivers for IT use in SCM. The second construct drivers for using IT in SCM refers here to the reason why IT is used in a certain manner in SCM. We expected that following drivers for the use IT in the transaction processing can be found in the case companies. Reduction of uh, the cost of operational processes, manual work, improvement of information quality by eliminating human errors and speeding up the transfer of information between organizations. Data analysis. The data was analyzed in two successive phases. First, within case analysis, were performed to assess how and with what kind of partners each of the case companies utilizes IT in its SCM processes and to understand why they use the technology in that specific way. Hence, for each company, the types of IT use as well as the drivers for the identified ways of IT use were identified based on the interview and survey data. After analyzing each of the cases separately, the cases were compared with each other in order to identify potential patterns within and between companies utilizing IT in a specific manner. In this cross-case analysis, the companies using IT in a specific way with up or downstream partners, for example, companies utilizing IT for transaction processing with their customers were first compared with each other to identify commonalities between them regarding the drivers for using IT and the business environment. After this, these cases were compared with the companies not using IT in that specific manner to chart the potential differences in the business environments between the user and non-user. Results In the within case analysis, the relationship between the two constructs, the types of IT used in SCM and the drivers for the use of IT in SCM was examined. After looking at each of the cases separately, the cases were compared with each other in order to identify potential patterns between them. This cross-case analysis revealed commonalities between the companies utilizing IT in a specific way regarding the drivers of IT use as for the business environment, characteristic, number and concentration of supply chain partners as well as the role of the company in the supply chain seemed in some occasion to segregate companies utilizing IT in a specific way from the non-user. Transaction processing. Most of the case companies use IT to process transactions with their suppliers. Eight of the case companies in turn use IT to transaction processing with their customers. Consequently, only three of the companies use IT for transaction processing towards both up and downstream of the supply chain. EDI, XML or extranet solution would typically use for the processing of orders and invoices in the companies. In some cases, IT was also used to process delivery verification and dispatch advices. As expected, reduction of manual work and cost improvement of information quality, speeding up of information transfer and volume of transaction were found to drive the use of IT for transaction processing. Supply chain planning and collaboration. The use of IT for supply chain planning and collaboration was more limited in our sample than the use of IT for transaction processing. This result supports the earlier findings on the sharing of planning information. 
Less than half of the companies use IT for supply chain planning and collaboration with their suppliers and three of these companies applied IT for this purpose also with their customers. Furthermore, unlike assumed unpredictable and logistically demanding, environment did not stand out as a driver for this type of IT use among the case companies. Instead, an important commonality among most of the companies using IT for supply chain planning and collaboration was that the user information shared through the IT system for running a specific cross-organizational process. Did you know? The term supply chain management entered the public domain when Kate Oliver, a consultant at Booz Allen Hamilton, used it in an interview for the Financial Times in 1982. Now we will study IT framework. Information sharing refers to activities that distribute useful information among multiple entities, people, systems or organizational units in an open environment. Sharing information should consider four questions. What to share? whom to share with, how to share, and when to share. Better answering these questions can greatly improve information sharing results, avoiding overload or deficiency, reducing sharing costs, and being more responsive. To address those questions and achieve better information sharing results, we propose a framework called Information Supply Chain, or ISC. The ISC framework is based on studies of supply chain management, SCM, which has been widely used in management science. A supply chain fulfills its customers' demand by a network of companies, mainly including suppliers, manufacturers and distributors. A supply chain has two primary targets, to balance demand and supply and to improve efficiency and responsiveness. These are also the primary goals for sharing information. We therefore envisioned that the well-studied SCM framework can work for information sharing similar to a supply chain information supply chain 1 ISC fulfills users information requirements by a network of information sharing agents ISA that gather interpret and satisfy the requirements with proper information let us now discuss customer relationship management CRM the CRM customer relationship management is an information industry term for methodologies, software and usually internet capabilities that help an enterprise manage customer relationship in an organized way. According to one industry view, customer relationship management consists of helping an enterprise to enable its marketing departments to identify and target their best customers, manage marketing campaigns and generate quality leads for the sales team, assisting the organization to improve a tele sales account and sales management by optimizing information shared by multiple employees and streamlining existing processes, allowing the formation of individualized relationships with customers with the aim of improving customer satisfaction and maximizing profits, identifying the most profitable customer and providing them the highest level of service. Providing employees with the information and processes necessary to know their customers, understand and identify customer needs and effectively build relationship between the company, its customer base and distribution partners. The customer relationship management key features are operational CRM, collaborative CRM and analytical CRM. Operational CRM Operational CRM is the aspect of CRM dealing with the automation of customer facing or front office processes. These processes include a sales, a marketing and customer service. Since operational CRM involves the automation of customer facing processes, it relies heavily on the use of computer technology to achieve its goals. Collaborative CRM Collaborative CRM is an approach to customer relationship management CRM in which the various departments of a company such as sales, technical support and marketing share information they collect from interaction with customer. For example, customer feedback gathered from a technical support session could inform marketing staff about products and services that might be of interest to the customer. The purpose of collaboration is to improve the quality of customer service and as a result increase customer satisfaction and loyalty. Analytical CRM 
Customer relationship management may be defined as a decision support system that is targeted to helping senior executives, marketing, sales and customer support personnel to better understand the capitalize upon their customer needs, company's interaction with the customer and the customer buying cycle. Like the term business intelligence, this is a fairly new term with a myriad of definition and a variety of products that support some of those defining aspects. From this, we may begin evaluating system, architectures and tools that will answer those needs in a timely and cost-effective fashion. As a small business owner, you want to win new customers and keep them as long as possible. So how do you turn individual sales into long-term relationships? There are so many opportunities and interactions with each customer, and keeping track of it all can be quite challenging. But there is a great tool to manage your customer communications and customize your marketing efforts to keep customers coming back. It's called Customer Relationship Management, or CRM. Let's see how some companies are making CRM work for them. Johnson Dental is a small practice with about 100 patients. Every Halloween, business spiked, but the rest of the year, things were flat. So when the office manager, Melanie, noticed that they were gaining new patients at a slow rate and repeat appointments were at a minimum, she knew something had to change. Her first solution was to enhance existing patient relationships. After all, existing customers are easier and less expensive to maintain than finding new ones. To Melanie's surprise, this was simpler than she thought. She found she could leverage many of the computer tools she was already using. She just had to change how she used them. For instance, Mel already used Excel spreadsheet and Outlook email and calendar software. These helped her maintain multiple databases on all patients, like contact information, scheduling, payments tracking, but she had no experience doing things like tracking patient trends or integrating patient information in other functions. But it was easy. All she had to do was reuse information she was already collecting. The first thing was combining email addresses with calendar entries. That opened the door to sending email reminders to patients who had missed annual appointments and offer their best patients a free teeth whitening on their birthday. She was embarking on the most basic do-it-yourself CRM, but it worked. Before long, she noticed a spike in patient bookings. On the other side of town, Smith Legal Partners maintains a large clientele. They committed to being the best personal injury litigators in a tri-state area, but growth had peaked out and they wanted more income. Their client management process was more complex, so the founder, Mr. Smith, hired an online CRM services provider. They started by evaluating where things stood in categories like number of clients, volume of billings, man hours spent, and marketing costs. Smith identified goals in terms of what legal department needed to improve, and turn the service provider loose to create a direct mail campaign and social networking designed to build awareness for personal injury. Through the CRM program, their mailers contained automated messages customized to prospects and clients, addressing things like recipients' chronic medical conditions or prior arrests. In no time at all, the phone started ringing off the hook and his lawyers were busier than ever. Meanwhile, the financial planners at Fix Financial Group we're having a tough time acquiring and keeping clients due to the poor economy. The president, Mr. Jones, decided that he needed a new way to reach out. He had his IT staff install a software system on internal servers that would contact new and existing clients in dozens of ways. Through this advanced CRM system, Fix was able to link different databases and applications they were using in bookkeeping, records, and communications. Soon, they were uncovering opportunities and tracking leads, referrals, interaction, and responses. Jones reassigned some of his clerical staff to do nothing but contact current clients with new services and send prospects information on new investment opportunities. The system even managed contacts and workflow. By being in charge of its own in-house CRM solution, Fix was sure to have the scalability to grow and the flexibility to incorporate things like mobile access so that they could have fully informed conversations with customers and prospects on the road. This helped business greatly and portfolio values soared. But how could all three companies put a value on their CRM and all other marketing efforts to improve business? It's a critical step to measure and monitor the results each marketing campaign generates. All three companies decided to measure the performance of their marketing, each in a different way. Johnson Dental's manual do-it-yourself CRM was small enough that they could gauge effectiveness in their bookings. 
That told them how they were handling existing patients through their email efforts. Mel had also sent mailers with business reply cards, or BRCs, to potential patients, making it easy for prospects to respond to certain offers. The reply cards contained different coupon codes per promotion, which helped to identify the offer they were responding to. This not only helped build the volume of initial exams, but it helped to know what dental services people are trending to, like teeth whitening. To get a little more technical, Smith Law, who is using online providers for CRM, decided to use automated services to measure performance of some of their web-based marketing campaigns. Using online tools like Omniture and Google Analytics, Smith was able to measure which marketing effort worked best by analyzing pages from their website. Metrics showed things like the number of online visitors they were drawing, the path each one took through the website, and which pages were viewed. He could even see in search engine rankings how well their efforts were paying off. Smith also created special web pages with their own URL for responses to individual promotions like free divorce seminars and prenuptial negotiation. In no time, seminars were so popular they had to add extra sessions, and new clients were walking in the door, although usually at different times. Fix Financial, with their in-house process, created the most elaborate tracking system of all. They used their IT department to write their own system that tracked metrics including prospect inquiries, new customers, account setups, online registrations, and account history. Since a lot of the customers were coming from all over the state, Fix implemented a different toll-free 800 number for each promotion. After about a week, they found they should be setting up a branch office in the next town for tax consulting. Being able to interpret how each marketing effort was paying off for these three companies helped bring down the cost of doing business. It led to a better understanding of the cost per new prospect converted or transaction completed of each campaign. They knew the value of referrals and could actually put a price on overall customer satisfaction. Over time, each company was able to improve planning, cut costs, and streamline day-to-day -day operations simply by knowing more about how their efforts at reaching the customers were working. Let us move to next topic now, internal supply management. The purpose of supply chain management is to make production system manage production process, improve customer satisfaction and reduce total work cost. With indubitable significant supply chain management attracts extensive attention from businesses and academic scholars. Many important research findings and results had been achieved. Research work of supply chain management involves all activities and processes including planning, coordination, operation, control and optimization of the whole supply chain system. Supplier management. Supplier management is a key aspect of supply chain planning. The base for an effective supply chain is managing operation by sourcing from the right suppliers. The sort of management has the following expect. Supplier onboarding and contract management. B2B integration with the supplier. Supply chain procurement management. It has extensive experience in the following areas of procurement management. Order and accounts payable management manual and system generated orders, leveraging electronic data interchange, EDI interface and reconciliation of PO, invoice and delivery receipt for vouchers, vouchers, ability to create vouchers when merchandise arrives at a warehouse, supply chain, order fulfillment. As more and more customers start leveraging online channels for purchases and prefer delivery right at their doorsteps even when they visit stores, fulfillment of sales orders becomes a critical component of the supply chain. Order fulfillment and optimization. Order tracking, fulfillment, optimization by factoring costs, lead time and track record of third party supplier and leveraging different options such as pick pack, list or drop shipped integration with third parties. Integration with third party fulfillers such as Ingram Micro and Tag Data. Supply chain, EDI, operation support. The EDI operation have become a commodity. However, they still form a very crucial aspect of supply chain operation. EDI solution providers in the following areas. Operation support for custom EDI or standard tools such as Geographic Information System, GIS, creating maps and supplier onboarding. 
supply chain logistic warehouse management system order management wave planning workflow management and yard and dock management among others supplier relationship management is a comprehensive approach to managing an enterprise interaction with the organization that supply the goods and services it uses the goal of supplier relationship management srm is to streamline and make more effective purposes between an enterprise and its suppliers just as customer relationship management crm is intended to streamline and make more effective the processes between an enterprise and its customer srm includes a board business practices and software and is part of the information flow component of supply chain management scm SRM practices create a common frame of reference to enable effective communication between an enterprise and suppliers who may use quite different businesses and practices terminology. As a result, SRM increases the efficiency of processes associated with acquiring goods and services, managing inventory and processing materials. According to proponents, the use of SRM software can lead to lower production costs and a higher quality but lower price and product. Uh, SRM will therefore help the company gain the following competitive advantages. Increase satisfaction of goods and services purchase and speed up product development by promoting a shared knowledge of suppliers and alternative technologies. Increase supplier satisfaction to attract and retain the most competitive ones, lower prices for purchase and maintenance of goods and services by improving business processes across the supply chain. The value of SRM, dedicated technology can support and empower supply chain transportation by facilitating improvements and driving efficiency across all sourcing and procurement processes. As such, it will minimize any negative impact they may have overall supply chain performance. Manufacturers around the world see the value and international surveys report a clear year-on-year -year increase in investment in supplier relationship management SRM technologies in midterm as more and more organizations seek to harness the benefits. SRM solution can help build a single collaborative framework for supply and logistic networks and as such or chastrate all supply chain processes from source to store. Manage and collaborate. Trading partners from suppliers and subcontractors to three PLs can collaborate all of the supply management process end to end from sourcing and procurement such as the monitoring of outsourced production to logistic and distribution. Optimize a single data information repository permits to develop and assign clear workflows across a different partners internal and external as well as across different geographies. Additionally, this one version of the truth approach reduces paperwork and automate low value tasks. This high level of automation combined with exception management Capabilities ensure the best uses of time and resources by concentrating efforts on critical issues only. This also helps in preventing repeated process interruptions and ultimately brings a new level of agility in responding to market changes. Control. Since information is available and shared along the supply network, real-time event management is possible. The event monitoring functionality and dashboards ensure counteractive actions are taken swiftly. Supplier performance measurement becomes transparent and actionable at all levels of the network since it is based on one set of data. A tighter control on materials operation and logistic costs and improves supplier commitment, a relationship that provides alignment to company strategy. Daniel has scheduled a meeting with Anna Garcia the Procurement Director at Wind Plus. Hello Anna, how are you doing today? Great Daniel, thank you. Anna, can you explain the next step of the sourcing process, which is supplier relationship analysis? Sure Daniel, first let's review our progress. We have assessed the needs. Based on the requirements, we analyzed the market. We also classified the item. We used the portfolio matrix and positioned the blades in the strategic quadrant, 
This indicates that a partner relationship type has to be engaged with the blade supplier. That's right, Daniel. However, the behavior and attitude of the suppliers has not yet been taken into account. The fourth step of the sourcing process is supplier relationship analysis. In this step, you as the buyer will determine which type of relationship can best fit the requirements. I see. It is important to understand why suppliers of items positioned in the same quadrant can behave differently towards their customer. Buyers should investigate how suppliers perceive their customer. For example, how BladeUp perceives Wind Plus. Yes, do they view Wind Plus as a strategic partner with whom they can develop more business in the future or as a small, unimportant customer? The method to analyze this relationship is called supplier preference analysis and is used by buyers to investigate how suppliers perceive their customer. So, using this method will lead us to understand the mutual relationship and enable management of that relationship. Yes, Daniel, that is correct. One of the most compelling reasons to use the Spring Framework is a comprehensive transaction support. The Spring Framework provides a consistent abstraction for transaction management that delivers the following benefits. Provides a consistent programming model across different transaction APIs such as JTA, JD, BC, Hibernate, JPA and JDO. Supports declarative transaction management. Provides a similar API for programmatic transaction management than a number of complex transaction APIs such as JTA integrates very well with Spring's various data access abstraction. First division entitled Motivation describe why one would want to use the Spring Framework's transaction abstraction as opposed to EJB, CMT or driving transaction via a proprietary API such as Hibernate. The second division entitled Key Abstraction outlines the core causes in the Spring Framework's transaction support as well as how to configure it and obtain data source and census from a variety of sources. The third division entitled Declarative Transaction Management covers the Spring Framework support for declarative transaction management. Global Transaction Global transactions have a significant downside in that code needs to use JTA and JTA is a cumbersome API to use partly due to its exception model. Furthermore, a JTA user transaction normally needs to be sourced from JNDI, meaning that we need to use both JNDI and JTA to use JTA. Obviously, all use of global transactions limits the reusability of application code as JTA is normally only available in an application server environment. The preferred way to use global transaction was via EJB CMT Container Managed Transaction. CMT is a form of declarative transaction management as distinguished from programmatic transaction Management EJB CMT removes the need for transaction related JNDI lookups. Although, of course, the use of EJB itself necessitates the use of JNDI. The significant downside is that CMT is tied to JTA and an application server environment. Also, it is also available if one chooses to implement business logic in EJPs or at least behind a transactional EJB facade. The negatives around EJB in general are so great that this is not an attractive proposition, especially in the face of compelling alternatives for declarative transaction management. Local transaction Local transaction may be easier to use but have significant disadvantages. They cannot work across multiple transactional resources. For example, code that manages transaction using a JDBC connection cannot run without a global JTA transaction. Another downside is that local transactions tend to be invasive to the programming model. The SPRIM framework provides both declarative and programmatic transaction management. Declarative transaction management is preferred by most users and is recommended in most cases. Did you know the term supply chain was slow to take hold and the lexicon was slow to change? It gained currency in the mid-1990s. Now in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. 
Information is a driver that serves as the clue to create a coordinated supply chain information must have the following characteristic to be useful. The first construct types of IT used in SCM refers to the ways in which companies employ IT for the purposes of SCM. Customer relationship management is defined as a decision support system that is targeted to helping senior executives, marketing, sales and customer support personnel to better understand and capitalize upon their customer needs, company's interaction with the customer. Transaction management integrates very well with Spring's various data access abstraction. There are several options specifying behavior. If a transactional method is executed when a transaction context already exists, for example, simply continue running in the existing transaction.